Hello everyone, and welcome to Minecraft Hardcore Episode 7. Last episode, we created this library, and to be honest, we played it a bit safe. We were doing a lot of farming, a lot of villager trading, and just generally getting ready for the things that are to come. But I think in this episode, it's time for us to do a little bit more adventuring. Live life a little more on the edge, I suppose. After all, it is a hardcore world, and we can't stay safe forever. We need to progress. But before we take too many risks, I do think it's important that we properly prepare. First of all, I do have my golden apples in my inventory. That's a good first step. Second step, lots and lots of food so that when we go exploring, we do not starve to death. That would be a horribly embarrassing first death that I do not want. Sleep, please. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know how my character can sleep next to all these cows, but whatever. Next up, we need to farm all of the things so that we can get lots of emeralds and get the rest of my diamond armor. Very important. Need all of the protection that I can possibly get. Now I just need to do a whole bunch of trading, get a bit more XP, and a few more levels. Um, is there anyone over here that I need? Yes, you. Please and thank you. Perfect, we're back to almost a stack of emeralds. This is getting so easy at this point. Let me just find my armorer. Is this, is this you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And we're just gonna buy a helmet and we already have a chest plate. I just haven't enchanted it. Perfect. Now we have a helmet. I'm actually gonna keep this iron chest plate on. It has blast protection, which is perfect. Oh my gosh. The iron golem is offering the villagers a poppy and getting a little bit rejected, but it's so cute. I forgot they did that. Oh, that was the cutest thing ever. Oh, what a way to start an episode. Okay, right. Sorry. Back to what we were doing. One tip that a lot of you have given me is before I go down in the mines, I need to get a bucket of milk or several buckets of milk is probably preferable, but we'll go with one and hope that we only need one. Thank you cows. I'm also going to be carrying my golden apples on me in case of emergency. The final thing that I really need to do is re-enchant this bow. It has unbreaking three at the moment, which is fine, but not ideal. And as you can see, I am almost very nearly at level 30. And I think that in order to get the rest of the way there, we could just do some fishing. I haven't done any fishing yet in this world and it might be really fun to do some of that. However, I don't actually know if I have string for it. Might have to work on that. Let me head down in the mine and see if I can find a couple more cobwebs to very safely break. Hang on. Okay, here's a cobweb. I just need to be ever so careful. I hear so many bad things. Okay, I think I only need two. Oh my gosh. It's spooky. I hate it. I don't like it. <laughs> right, let's craft ourselves a fishing rod and head over to the ocean and do a little bit of fishing and see what we get. This seems like the perfect spot. Ah, I haven't done any fishing in Minecraft in such a long time. Anyways, here's our first couple of fish. Hopefully we get something good. I know that you can get quite a lot of really cool items from fishing, but I've never really taken advantage of that. Fishing journey is complete. We didn't get anything very impressive to be honest, but it was only about four minutes of fishing that it took to actually get to level 30 since I was pretty much all the way there already. Now it's time for me to disenchant my bow and see if I can get a much better enchant. Oh, and I should also test out the tools that I already have just in case there's something quite a lot better than the bow. All right, let's take this enchantment off and collect the XP. And for a bow, we would get power four, which is really good. Protection four on a chest plate is really tempting. Sharpness four on a sword. Oh my gosh, all of these enchantments are good. Wait, what do I do? I feel like I should go the chest plate because protection four is really nice and it might be better to be defensive instead of offensive and hardcore. I'm gonna do it. Okay, we got thorns with it and unbreaking. You know what? That's pretty good. I think general protection is better than blast protection in the end. Oh, I'm not 100% sure. These have a little bit of blast protection. Hopefully I'll be safe. I'm just gonna use one level to give my bow a low level enchant now. And let's see what this would be. Sweeping edge and unbreaking. All right, not bad, but for now we are done enchanting. Also, I've been meaning to make a chest in here for a while, but we really need a spot to just, yeah, let's put it right there just to store the stuff that I need for enchanting. All right, full diamond armor, and I think I'm prepared to head down in the mines. I'm a little scared, but hopefully I'll be able to handle this just fine. Also, how's my farm doing? Okay, not bad. I emptied it earlier today. <laughs> now, with any luck, we should be able to just slowly and carefully go through this entire area systematically. Hopefully not hit anything too horrible. Okay, there's nothing in here. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Ah, oh, dear. Okay, 
I'm gonna go across here and block the lava. Oh, okay, our first contender is a creeper. Is anything behind me? No, goodbye. <laughs> oh, this is so spooky. There's a skeleton in there. Can I shoot it? Uh, it appears to have left, okay. Oh, our first chest. Okay, that's good, that's good. I'm just slowly lighting things up. What is this? Oh, there's been a skeleton death. Okay, that's good. And our first bit of loot. Oh, we got a name tag and some iron. Actually, these rails are all great as well. So I'll just take that entire thing. Thank you very much. This is actually gonna be great for rails. I'm not gonna pick up a lot of rails right now, but of course we do need all of this. Okay, there's another chest. But there's also creepers. It's fine. I got it. Take aim. So far, nothing too crazy. Let's see what's in here. Lots of torches. Okay, we definitely need those. And another golden apple. Epic. Here's a spider, which I don't love. Okay. It is a normal spider, so that is at least good. And there's another chest. Can't believe how much loot there is. There's the zombie glowing armor and all. I am so nervous about this. Just hearing the spiders is so stressful. I know that they're regular spiders, but gosh, still. Hello, zombie. Ah, didn't get a crit. Oh gosh, I hear a witch. That's the worst one of them all. <laughs> I hate witches. Hopefully I can take it out from a distance. Oh, I almost fell down there. That probably would have been bad. Whoa. It's a ravine cutting through it. <laughs> That's actually really cool. And there is a skeleton just on the edge. Do not want. Oh wait, it dropped its bow. Oh, now I kind of have to go down and see what it got. Okay, there's more zombies down there. And it was just a punch one bow. Not super worth it. There is lots of coal and iron in here though, which is great for these early game supplies that we definitely need. To be honest, I've not spent a lot of time in these episodes doing any mining. I've done a little bit of caving and we do have a strip mine set up, but I haven't actually spent very many hours just down grinding in the mines, so we don't have a lot of stuff. Although in my defense, we do have a village which provides pretty much everything that I need. There's literally about a million zombies somewhere. Why? Why are there so many? Dude. <laughs> it pushed the minecart. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, where are the zombies? What is this? Okay, I see another chest. Oh no, my ax broke. This is not good. Okay, safe right here. Let me take a little look. Another golden apple, oh my gosh. Okay, whoa, look at this. Why is there so many? This one has diamonds in it. Okay, I'm gonna leave this chest behind and leave the rails in it. Um, just cause I'm kind of running out of space, but I will come back for this. This is literally directly under my base. Um, I need to find those zombies, there's so many. Oh, also, I should be checking for sleep just in case. I don't want my village to get surrounded by zombies. Shockingly though, I haven't actually seen, whoa, the zombies, haven't seen a cave spider spawner. I don't know why, usually, usually I'm like surrounded by them. Oh, I see another chest, okay. Very careful, break the corners. Okay, there's a creeper, there's two creepers. Easy does it. <laughs> uh, creepy, can I shoot through the fence? Ah, sad, that makes no sense. Come on, Minecraft physics. That's, that should be possible. <laughs> no, 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 don't blow up the chest. Don't blow up the chest. Thank you. <laughs> That's stressful. Okay, what do we got? Name tags, cool, cool, cool. All right, oh, beetroot seeds. That's actually kind of important. Um, <laughs> we're not growing beetroot at the minute and that's a trade, so that is awesome. It actually might be more important than the diamonds. <laughs> I am just sleeping in the mines. Don't mind me. I'm very close to the surface and I don't want my village to be taken over. Okay, I do very badly want to figure out where the heck those zombie noises are coming from. Okay, well I see a zombie. Oh, oh, oh I see the issue. Okay, <laughs> I'm on board. I see, uh, I see what's going on here. Um, <laughs> I don't know if any of you saw that. Let me remove this and just very quickly. Oh my gosh. Huh, this was easy. All of the zombies must have walked out of it. Hello, Enderman. Okay, we have 
a spawner. And it's not even a cave spider spawner. I was expecting to have to build a cave spider XP farm because it's directly under here, but this is a zombie one. Cool, oh my gosh. Okay, and we do have two chests. We have saddles and iron horse armor. Oh my goodness. This is actually so cool. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly record the coordinates of this. It looks like it's gonna be really near my village. If I had any brains at all, I would probably mine upwards so that I don't have to find it again. I'm gonna do that really quickly. I'm just gonna dig in right over here and literally mine upwards in a staircase so that I can find this on the surface. Whoop, don't drop on my head, don't drop on my head. Thank you. <laughs> I can hear my sheep. Oh, I don't, I hope I don't come up in my sheep pen. Okay, I think this should hopefully be the surface. Yep, where am I? Oh, wait, that's epic. Oh my gosh. Okay, so right below here, there's a spawner. My house is right there. I'm very happy about that. Wait, hang on. Let me make a trip home and dump off all my stuff and then I'll head back down. While I'm up here, I am gonna start us on a beetroot farm. It's important. <laughs> I genuinely really want to have this red dye and also the tradable, farmable item. Perfect. Okay, now we can head back down. I seriously cannot believe how close to the surface and also close to our base the spawner is. I mean, it's a zombie spawner, so it's not perfect. A skeleton spawner would probably be like the most ideal that you could get, but still, it's very good. I'm not mad about it. <laughs> Like, this is so cool. All right, let's explore the rest of this area now. There's still a ton of zombies spawning somehow. Um, okay, why is every mob on the planet right there? Uh, literally, why? Oh, why am I failing so hard at this? <laughs> Gosh, that was way harder than it should have been. Excuse me, no thanks. Why is there so many? What the heck, dudes? <laughs> Full gold armor? No thank you. Gosh. You know what? Now that I've thought about it actually. Rotten flesh! We have a cleric! We're gonna have a literal in-house emerald farm. That is also an XP farm. <laughs> Hello. Alright. You know what I don't want to be a part of? That party. Wow. No, I'm alright. I'm okay. Nah. Sure. Alright. Let's uh... Let's not. Jeez. Oh. All right. Three creepers. I'm... Oh, boy. <laughs> Don't love that. Okay. This is just a cave. Here's another chest. Um, I need to be very careful about how I peek around corners. Cool. What's in the chest? Fire protection. Not bad. We can put that on armor that we take to the nether with us, maybe? and some more beetroot seeds. Okay, there's a lot going on. I'm currently stuck in a cobweb. Oh, very bad, haven't eaten in a while, really need to get out of here. Should probably find the time to eat in a safe location without a creeper present, preferably. Oh boy, all right, leaving. Gosh, what a noob move, forgetting to eat. Who forgets to eat? Gosh, come on. All right, to be honest, I think that's enough scares for one day. We got a spawner, we got some good loot. Let's head back to the surface and recuperate a little bit. I didn't get every single inch of that mineshaft explored. Didn't even touch the ravine that's down there, but you know what? It was good. It was a good first day. And we have other things to do today. Oh, and it's nighttime. Oh, and there's, and there's monsters. All right, good. Love that. Luckily, this place is actually shockingly safe at night. I better sleep before I ruin it. To be honest, I'm feeling very good about where we currently stand in terms of farms and emeralds and loot. I mean, we have our full diamond armor on right now. We were just able to take on a mine shaft, and now granted, I didn't see anything challenging down there. It was mostly zombies, skeletons, and creepers, which can get challenging in massive amounts. But we didn't see a cave spider. We didn't even see a cave spider spawner. To be fair, we, I didn't go very far, but still, that was, that was quite the good journey, I think. I was a little careless though around those spider webs, so I do need to remember to be a little bit careful. If a creeper had come up on me there, I might have been in trouble and I really don't want to lose this world. 
I've just come back to this world after working on school for a little while. I had to work on a presentation. It was very boring, but it gave me a chance to think about what I actually want to do in this world. Hello, Iron Golem. <laughs> I think we have four Iron Golems now, which is awesome. I've decided that we should stay focused. I know, this is a new concept, but I think that we should try and work on a spotter. Like, we could actually have a really cool XP farm, and that would be really beneficial to us, because infinite XP is pretty much the only thing we're missing, to be honest. And it's not gonna be like the best XP farm in the world, but whoa, the Enderman's still down here. <laughs> Are you making yourself a dirt house? Buddy, Oh, it's like a dirt bath. All right, they seem to be enjoying themselves. Um, so basically, I just need to make a big room around this spawner. This should be pretty simple, I think. I'm just gonna dig out four blocks on each side. I'm not using any particular tutorial for this one. I've just been building these for a long time. And I, th I think I remember how to do it. If I do need to reference one though, I'll link it down below. But in general, it's just very standard zombie spawner. I kind of forgot how long of a process this was. <laughs> on the bright side, we're getting lots and lots of stone but the room is looking very square, which is good. <sighs> Almost there, just one more layer. So as far as I understand, the reason that I am doing this, the reason I'm digging it out is so that the zombies have the maximum amount of space to be able to spawn. They can't spawn in solid blocks, obviously, so the more of this I clear out, the more area they have to be able to spawn, and hopefully that'll maximize my rates. I also think that in order for this to be as efficient as possible, I'm probably going to end up needing to light up the rest of this mine shaft that's down here, which shouldn't be a problem, because we're gonna have to do that anyways. Ugh, accidentally stayed awake all night. Skeleton with a flame bow. That's a bit mean. Bit excessive game. Didn't need a skeleton with a flame bow. Okay, is everybody okay? I think everybody's okay. Once again, I'm very glad that this village has a wall. <laughs> Whoop. No surprise attacks, please. That would be bad. <laughs> now for an infinite source of water. Thank you very much. And it's time to get going with this design. So here is my big empty room with a lot of torches in it. And I think we're gonna put the first couple of buckets over here. Yeah, just like so. Okay, and then we can dig this in and hopefully when this is all said and done, we'll have a working design. Now, the only problem I can see with this at the minute is that I don't have all the supplies that I need. I don't have an actual way to get them upwards. So basically they're gonna flow in here. <laughs> and awkward. This is gonna be a problem quite frequently I can see. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> we're gonna leave that alone. I think quite often we'll end up finding that those types of areas, but we're gonna come in here and then right here, it's gonna go upwards, straight upwards. Never dig straight above your heads. Never do that. That's a really bad idea. You don't wanna do that. Basically, I'm gonna dig in here and I'm gonna build an area for the zombies to get sucked upwards and they're gonna take damage by fall damage and hopefully when it's all said and done they'll end up up here in this room with less damage or rather more damage taken because they'll fall first things first though i need soul sand so you know what that means we have to head to the nether gotta take my trusty golden helmet and off i go hopefully this is a successful and easy journey and i don't die i just need soul sand Please let the soul sand be easy to find. I'm gonna try and go back towards that nether waste that I found before. Hopefully there'll be some over there. Hey, okay. sadly, I see zero. Nada. This is not good for us. Okay, I guess we have to go adventuring in the nether. This is not what I imagined I would be doing today. I'm very scared, and to be honest, there's none over this peak. I'm probably gonna turn around and go the other way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, so, update, I see some. It's a bit of a journey. Oh gosh, okay. Oh, whoa, look at it. Gosh, the new nether is gorgeous. I'm not excited about entering a soul sand valley, but gotta do what we gotta do for that XP farm. Okay, don't mind me, just <laughs> backing off the ledge. Did I find it? Is this it? Oh my gosh. Whoa, look at that ruined portal. It's really pretty, but it's not what I came here for. I must continue with my mission. There's a ghast. There's probably 20 ghasts. I'm in the Soul Sand Valley. Okay. Easy. Easy does it. I just need Soul Sand. Ha. Huh. 
Okay. I got it. I got some soil sand. I'm gonna take a little bit of the soil as well. Never know. Oh my. Yeah, is there a worse mistake to make in hardcore Minecraft? Probably not. Probably not a worse one than that. That's probably the worst that you could do. <sighs> okay. It's fine. I'm fine. This is fine. I just hit a pigland. Why did I hit a pigland? Ugh. That's like my worst nightmare. <sighs> it's okay though. All I have to do, I have enough supplies on me to just mine back to where I came from. <laughs> like that's the answer here. Are you mad at me? You're not mad at me. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. I'm I'm fine. I'm not shaking. It's it's all. <sighs> I mean, what a recovery though. I really just dug myself right back in here. Are we mad at me? We're not mad at me. They might not be mad. Do they have to see other angry piglins in order to get mad? Hang on, let me let me Google. I'm gonna go to the Googles. Okay, so from what I can read, it does seem like they have a forgiveness and it's anywhere from 20 seconds to 27 minutes. I don't think I'm gonna sit in this hole for 27 minutes, but you know, if you, if you gotta sit in a hole for 27 minutes, then you do what you gotta do. But, there is something about line of sight, and I feel like we've broken the line of sight with all of those angry ones. So I really don't think that they're angry at me. Like, look at this. Let me truly get a good test going. Are you angry at me? Because it said it angered all of them in a 40 block radius, but you're not angry at me. So am I okay? Are you angry at me? You're not. Okay, we're fine. Wow. That was probably the quickest recovery from hitting a piglin that I've ever witnessed, and I I'm shocked that I was the one that did that. Um, <laughs> okay, so if you're tunneling in the nether, that's a great way to not die. Just pro tip that I just figured out just now by testing it on myself in hardcore. That was... Okay, I need to get back home before I do something dumb. Dumber. Oh, there's magma at my portal. Why? That guy's hurt as well. I want nothing to do with this, to be honest. All right, chill out. That's enough of you lot. Okay, I might never return, to be honest. This was terrifying. Okay, all that, and this is my single piece of soul sand that I required. And I also need some kelp. Back to chill. You know what? I can't handle any more stress today. We're not doing anything else high stress for the rest of this episode. I'm over it, I'm done. <laughs> I'd like to go back to building now. It was so peaceful last episode. Oh, <laughs> thank you dolphins. This is a bit much, but thank you. <laughs> All right, so with the supplies acquired, the next thing that I need to do is just dig that tunnel that the zombies are going to travel up and hopefully get trapped in to eventually die. Really great, isn't it? But first of all, I need to figure out the location of this and I'm just gonna do this by coordinates. So this is 38, 36, 23. And I'm literally just gonna go upwards and dig down to that point. This is block 38, 23. So if I dig down here, I should perfectly hit my tunnel and or fall into something that I don't wanna be a part of. So I'm gonna dig down like this instead. Um, I've just decided I've had enough of risks, so we'll do this. So see how when I break one, I don't immediately fall into it? Yeah, that's really helpful in case lava is uncovered. So now the only thing that I have to do is plant kelp, sort of. I also should probably count, to be fair, the amount of blocks that I've fallen. Right, so we were 36. So how high does that mean that we need to go? 58, I need to go to level 58. Should be pretty simple. So after using my brain, I realized that I was not going to the correct height because I actually want to bring my zombies to be right here somewhere. Um, <laughs> whoops. So that means that I'm actually gonna be going from level 48. So I'm gonna want them to be quite a lot higher up because they're not landing so far down as they would be if I was bringing them down to the level of the spawner which that's perfectly okay. This is what I want for the design. To be honest, I will be a little bit happy if the spawner pokes up above the surface. Like that's good, just gonna make my day a little bit. 
<laughs> just having a zombie machine right next to my village. I mean, it sounds amazing. Turns out I accidentally brought my spawner to the exact level that it needed to be at. So that is great. <laughs> this is all I need. And then we should be able to just bring it straight across over here and plop down into the correct room. Please don't fall in the lava. Please don't fall in the lava. Okay, I'm gonna do once again the same mistake. Ah, here we are. Okay, so this right here is where our lovely zombies are gonna fall into. All right, I think that I have everything that I need to complete the farm now. I feel like I've said that a million times at this point, but I'm not following a tutorial, so I'm feeling a little bit challenged at the moment. <laughs> Normally, I would just get somebody else to tell me how to do it, but I feel like it's pretty important to kind of learn these things yourself every now and then. So here we are. Right, this, this has to be covered up, but this is where the zombies will be. I feel like we can make a little outpost here and have this be glass so that we can actually see the zombies coming along. That'd be kind of cool. I feel like our villagers would enjoy that. But anyways, for now, let's just finish the farm, make it functional. Now, in theory, we'll just have them plop right here, like so. And we'll have a piece of carpet there so they have a nice little landing. Just kidding, they're gonna die, um, but you get the point. There is such thing as baby zombies, so I'm gonna put a slab. I'm not sure if it actually needs a slab or if it needs like a trap door. I don't know. I also don't know why I just took a screenshot. I, I'm sure. I know that this is gonna affect the light level in the spawner, but at least just for right now, I'm gonna make these four glass. I think eventually I'll make the entire floor glass and hopefully have it so nothing can actually spawn in this room. That way this room that I'm standing in can also be dark. That would be ideal. It would make it so I could see down here. Now, how am I gonna do this part? So I need some signs, first of all, and we gotta break this. We gotta put down our soul sand that we worked so hard for. And that should make bubbles. Please make bubbles. Okay, it did make bubbles. That's heading to the surface now. And now I think we just break all of these. And that means all of these streams all go into one place. Perfect, perfect. Okay, and that's our little room up there. Wait, it's all coming together. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Let me mentally prepare myself for what I'm about to do. These two blocks are gonna have to come out. And let me just properly kind of situate myself. Okay, what do we do first? I don't know. I think from here I can reach a lot of them. I can't reach that one or that one. All right, I'm gonna just go for it, I think. I have to delete the ladder as well. Oh, this is so challenging. Okay, I'm just gonna start down here and get rid of a couple of these. Then I'm gonna come up on the ladder, start just deleting the ladder. Can I? I don't know if I can. Okay, ladder is gone. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of all of these on the walls. Perfect, and now these ones on the actual spawner. Okay, it started working. I'm scared, I'm scared. All right, let's get rid of the blocks now. And in theory, this is now a functional spawner room. All right, this XP farm is officially fully functioning. May not look it yet. I might need a few tweaks, but look at this. I think they're one hit, a couple hits. All right, that's fair. You know what? We'll get a nice smite sword with unbreaking on it and mending, and we'll be able to sit here all day and get XP and rotten flesh. Oh, and all of these items. Nice. It seems pretty effective to me. Oh, I love it. We're almost level 30 again. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy with how this is working out. There we go. Level 30. Oh, it feels good to be able to enchant like this. I'm so excited. Let's head to the surface now. I've had enough time in caves. I think it's time we do some other things. The spawner is set up and we can decorate it at any time that we wish. And we also need a proper entrance into it. Maybe even a tunnel and a clock. We definitely need a clock because this is getting a little excessive, to be honest. Really need to get better at sleeping. So let me tell you a secret about how I record these videos. Basically, at this point, it is the morning of the upload. So the day that you're seeing this, I'm recording it the same day <laughs> as it's uploaded. I have at this point already edited all of the parts that you've seen so far. So I know all the music that I use. I know I use that fancy orchestral music. I know that I use some fancy quadrants music in the nether and in the caves. I know what I did. I know how long the episode is and I know what it needs to do next. 
and I think that it needs a little bit of peace because it's been an episode that is a bit anxiety inducing and I don't want my episodes to be that. I want my episodes to have some chill moments. So today we're going to continue a little bit of work on the library because I've thought of a couple of things that it needs and we're just gonna touch it up a little bit. But for that, I need to head over to the lovely Mesa because there are a couple blocks that I want to decorate it with. Ah, it's so nice to see the Mesa. Gosh, the overworld above ground is so peaceful compared to what we've seen today. I truly think there's nothing else in this game that could scare me. Not a single thing. I think I've seen it all today. <laughs> No, that's a lie. I'm sure there's worse. We haven't even touched some of the bosses yet. In your opinion, what's the worst thing? I know we're at kind of at the end of the episode and most people might not want to answer this, but if you, if you do want to answer this, um, what's the worst thing? I was just talking to my friend Python and he gave me the tip that it's actually really challenging to take on the piglin brutes and that they're really hard hitters even with diamond armor. So is that something that I need to be really careful of? Like, what's going on? Is that... Is that the worst? I don't know. I've, I've never fought a piglin brute. And after today, to be honest, I don't want to. <laughs> Alright, so the reason I've grabbed some red terracotta here is because I want to try out some glazed terracotta. And this is a really easy way to get it. We could just mine it in the mesa. And then all we have to do is smelt it in these furnaces. I listened to all of your suggestions and there were so many amazing ones. How are my friends? This is awful. There were so many amazing ones suggesting the different colors and things that we need to use and honestly, oh hi. <laughs> you good, mate? What? <laughs> All right. Okay. Honestly, I think that the best options are going to be green, yellow, and red. And we can even maybe use some combination of those colors, but those were some really good suggestions. I love the idea of yellow for our dandelion hill right here. Red will just look good in general, and also it's very velvety and royal. And green is pretty easy to get because the desert's right there, and I love green. That's my favorite color. So the next thing that I need is a couple of item frames. And luckily I do have leather, so this should be really easy. I love getting the chance to detail little things like this. This feels like such a nice break from the intense episode that we've had. Ha! Huh, thank goodness, to be honest. Okay, here is some lovely red glazed terracotta. Look at how awesome this block looks. I very rarely use glazed terracotta, but to be honest, such an amazing accent block if it's used right. And let me show you what I have in mind here. Who has taken damage? I really need to fix this. They keep, oh, do you know what else I need to fix? Okay, these two librarians in here, anytime that you have a railing, right? This railing looks great. This guy thinks this railing doesn't exist. So with these trap doors here, they jump up here, they fall down and they take damage. And it's just the worst. Like why villagers? I will put a fence there for you, but my gosh, I need you to get it together. Please, please. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so this side front panel of our library is a little bit plain, and I want to combat that by trying to add a bit of a sign kind of coming out from it. Not sure exactly how I want to do this. Normally, I would do it with grindstones. Obviously, I can't put a grindstone up in the air because the villagers will think of it as a workbench, so I can't use workbenches as decor. I can, however, use glazed terracotta as decor, so that's exactly what I'm going to try to do. That's kind of cute, right? Okay, and now picture this, right? Item frames, books, right? There we go. Now it looks like an official library. Do you know what? That's, it's a little bit weird. It's a little off. It might be a little pointy, a little too clunky. Maybe I'll move it up. Let me try and move it up. And also I'm going to work on a flower box right here. Hello, librarian. Please, please move. Oh, hello? <laughs> that shouldn't be possible. Okay, so let's try to do some slabs like this. And then this coming out from the roof. Yeah, this is going to be so much better. So I'm going to have it just kind of hug the edge. Oh, got to hop down and get the supplies. To be honest, I really like that. I know that this side is plain, but we're leaving that plain on purpose. I think that that adds such a nice little accent. Let me get some leaves in some flower boxes right here now as well. So I think that'll really help. So I just need some dirt. I didn't bring any dirt. Really useful. Why didn't I bring any dirt? Where's my dirt? Okay, so we're just gonna put some dirt in and then we'll probably get some like fancier details along the bottom here with some slabs, trap doors along the edge to keep everybody in. And then all we need is a couple of flowers and some lovely 
bushes. Look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I like it. I think a bit of greenery helps everything. Yeah. Honestly, that's quite a lot better already. I like it. All right, everyone. And with that, I think that is all the time that I have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the little changes to the library that I just did. As always, we could completely do more. Always we could change things, take things down, adjust things. This is gonna be a process of transforming this entire area and I can't wait to do it. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. This was definitely one of my favorites to film and edit. There was just so much going on all the time. <laughs> As always, if you have any advice for me, leave it down below and don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying what you're seeing here. Or don't, you know, it's your choice, but it'd be really cool if you did. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone.